essentially what they're doing is they're changing the way that flood insurance is evaluated. What they're going to be doing moving forward is they're basing it much more on two things, the historic flooding of a property and the individual cost of replacing that property. So essentially what that means is that they're looking at the individual risk that a home or a property is facing. And they're now going to be basing flood insurance off that individual risk. So what this means in Iowa is that 63% of policyholders, they're going to see an increase in their flood insurance premiums. Now, it's going to be relatively small. In most cases, 10 to $20. But for the people who are seeing a decrease, 37% of people, that decrease could be substantial, as much as $100 or more a month in some cases. And what we found is that while nationwide, about 4% of people are going to see a $20 or more increase in their monthly insurance premium, in Iowa, 24% of policyholders will see a $20 or more decrease in their insurance premium. So what this really is doing is it's rebalancing flood insurance, bringing more equity to flood insurance. Because in the past, everybody kind of paid for everybody. Now it's going to be much more focused on the individual risk that a homeowner is facing. So to kind of put that in perspective, if you have a $100,000 house that doesn't flood very often, you're gonna be paying a lot less. If you have a million dollar house that sits next to a water source and floods, you're gonna be paying a lot more. So, um, so how, how were properties, um, I guess, assept, assessed prior, prior to this change? You know, what, what were the factors? So FEMA was using basically their old flood maps. And in some cases, those are as much as 50 years old, we found, usually sometimes 40 to 50 years old. And they just didn't keep up with the realities of climate change. And so it really left a broken system because they were seeing so much more flooding than they were able to kind of deal with. They were paying out far more than they were taking in. And so to balance the system, what they really did was assess now flood insurance much more on a risk basis. Before, everybody, it was based on an area, but not necessarily on the individual risk that your home was facing. So if you were in a flood area, you paid based on what that flood area should be paying, not necessarily on the individual risk and the cost of replacing your home. Now you're paying based on the area but also based on the individual risk that your house is facing and the cost of replacing it. Flood insurance makes health insurance look simple. It's, it's